What was the hardest thing you had to overcome in your football career? It was my injury, my leg injury, bro. Uh, being able to plant again, bro, like having a mindset of I could put my foot in the ground and get north, bro. Jumping off my foot, I still can't jump off my leg to this day, like not fully, like I do a little jump, but I still can't explode off of it. It's more like I can, I can step, I can sprint off of it, I can plant off of it now, but jumping off of it, I still can't do that. And that was probably like my biggest fear, like, dang, like, am I, am I gonna be able to move the same, or like, am I gonna be able to, am I gonna be able to, to rock how I used to rock? I'm gonna be able to put this foot in the ground and get to it. So that was probably my biggest fear. That I had two biggest fears. That and then just not accomplishing what I wanted to, like not getting to where I wanted to go. But then I got older, bro, and I realized like that it wasn't even about that. I did everything I could with what I had. Went over to my first year, newcomer of the year. I only went last five games, bro. The last five games I had like eight catches, three hundred forty yards, and four touchdowns. Like in the last last. Last four games, last four games, yeah, last four games. It was something crazy like that. But new comedy, yeah, getting to Mexico, all pro. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, my second year in Germany, I was, it was the all GFL team. Like, you know what I mean? So every year, it was, it was stuff that I did. Like, I'm doing the most I can do with what I got. I had my tryouts, like, I had a couple of tryouts. CFL, Edmonton, Eskimo, private workout. Um, Private workout with the bombers, with the blue bombers, with the pad, but just more political stuff. GM say he like you, receiver coach say he like you. We could be in touch. And you never hear back from him. Like I said, I don't regret nothing, bro. Like, I did what I could with what I had. Like whatever the opportunity they gave me, I capitalized. Crazy. I finished in Mexico, bro. I had 40, 41 catches, nine hundred one yards, ten touchdowns. Like. I wasn't touching the ball like that, and then in one game, I had 10 catches. So, <laughs> like, they still wasn't. I wasn't even getting a rock out there like that for real. I was just making plays. So, for sure, that was probably probably my two. I had two of them for real. Gotcha. So, what advice would you have for a player that's in the position you're in right now, uh, deciding to hang it up? What, what, what route would you expect? What, what route would you think they should take? Listen to yourself. Like, that little deep thought that you got in the back of that head, listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Whatever you think is going to help you propel in life or if you're just looking for the satisfaction of what's going to go on now. Like, it's just, listen to yourself. You get one life, live it how you want to live it. Run, like, listen to yourself. I know I listen to myself and I was more so what's going to propel me in life. You know what I mean? This ain't end all be all. So as long as you got your head on straight and you know that it's something that you want to do after, I say listen to yourself. Listen to that deep thought that's like, you know what I'm saying? Is this really going to help me in life? Or is it going to push me back, set me back? So as long as it's propelling you, you got a chance to go out there and they're going to they gonna give you a way to prepare yourself. You're propelling your life, whether that's getting film to go to the next level, whether that's making money. Whether that's, you know what I'm saying, giving you an opportunity to see another country that you, you might want to go stay in or something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's propelling yourself. Like, propelling yourself ain't always got to be, like, making money constantly. People get it confused. Like, for me to be up in life, I got to be rich. I got to be this, got to be that. You could be rich in mine. Like, you could be rich in, rich in, your, in, your, in your whole thought process, bro. It's just like, hey, I'm living good. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can do what I want to do when I want to do it, and I ain't got to just focus solely on this all the time. I can enjoy myself. You know what I'm saying? So. So, looking back on your playing days, if you could do anything differently, what would it be and why? Boy, I would I would bite the bullet a lot more. I used to pop. I used to pop my shit, bro. What? To coaches, bro. To coaches. Like, not players, bro. All you boys is going to get this work regardless. But we talking about coaches. Like, for real, for real, bro. We used to talk back so crazy them boys. Boys say something. We be like, nah, bro, that bullshit. Like, nah, you tripping. Like, nah, we ain't doing all that, bro. Like, that junk don't even work. Like, we was too, too boisterous, bro. Like, if I could take that back, my career would probably be different. And then just having a better work ethic early, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really, I was, 
like I said, athleticism. I play every position. I was like, shit, I'm an athlete. Like, I ain't really got to work out hard as the next man. Like, I can, it jumped natural to me. It was so natural. It was like I get on the field and it just, it just happened. Like, it just made plays naturally. I ain't even really find out how to play receiver till I got to, to my professional career, bro. Till I got in Germany. Like, I ain't really understand technique and how to really do things properly as a receiver until I got professional, bro. So that work ethic for sure. And like I said, bro, I'm in the mouth, bro, just being more calm, accepting, accepting coaching and accepting what people are saying and building and learning, like each and every day, like being a sponge to the game. You know what I mean? It wasn't a sponge. It was like you knew too much, you did too much, like, you know what I mean? So that's definitely what I'd say.